Hello, Jack's Abbey has resurrected their Mass Rising double IPL that's been out of production for a few years. I think this was one of the first double IPLs to ever be brewed, or, on, or at least to be called that style, and one of the first double IPLs that Jack's Abbey did. But then, when they switched to their new brewery, it seemed like they just kind of were focusing on doing other new things, and they've always made Kiwi Rising once a year. That's their New Zealand hopped double IPL. It's a little stronger than this one. This one is only 8%, and they say 100 IBUs, and this was, you can't really read the date on the bottom very well, but it was canned three days ago which is exciting. And the last time I had this, I wasn't really in a hop head phase, and I didn't remember not being crazy about it. Uh, we'll see how, what I think of it now. I've been thinking that a lot of Jack's Abbey's IPLs are really grassy lately, except for when I had Kiwi Rising. I love that one uh, because I love New Zealand hops. This one uses only American hops, and they don't say anything about double or triple dry hopping this beer. They just say they use in an increasing amount of hops from the kettle to a hop back and then dry hopping. And I don't know what hop varieties it is. I'm guessing there is a mixture of the old sea hops and then maybe newer ones, Simcoe, probably not Citra, but I'll have to guess. And they don't tell me what malts are used in it or anything. I think it used to be maybe darker. I thought they changed the recipe a little bit. And this beer won some awards back in the day when it first came out. Uh, it was funny, it won an award for um, other strong lager, lager, gold medal at the Great American Beer Festival for other strong lager because there wasn't a category for this style, and I don't know if there is today. But I'm smelling some dank, resinous, weedy hops already. Mm -hmm. It looks pretty nice there. It's very, very clear, but I mean, it's not filtered. It says unfiltered, but there isn't much haze at all. You can see me, see me through there. You can even see the carbonation pretty medium carbonation and the head is sticking around pretty well looks like a good IPA head yeah and that smells like it's got Columbus Chinook Centennial it's very earthy and herbal well it's just so some some sweet grapefruit and, and candied orange going on too A slight candyish, um, like generic candy smell, like Smarties or Taffy, which is nice. And maybe just slightly tropical. I bet I bet there is Simcoe in here. It's got a kind of a berry thing going on, slightly melony, um, which I'm I'm glad that it's pretty fruity amidst all of the dank herbaceous qualities. Yeah, when you really breathe in, and I'm not getting, I don't know if they used any toasty malt or anything like that in this, but that's a really nice aroma. It smells like a, kind of a, maybe a, a more West Coast style IPA that I would like more. It's not big on any toasted malt or, uh, or too resinous or anything or too bitter. Yeah, I like the aroma quite a bit. Yeah, that's nice, and it's it's really potent to, at three days old. I'm getting every single every single drop of hop resin on my tongue there. Not too bitter the first sip. Um, that's that, that's a nice beer. Um, it, maybe it sort of reminds me of Wicked Weeds Double IPA. Um, I can't remember the name of it right now, but their standard Double IPA that is out released every once in a while. But better. It's, I like the sweeter candy-ish notes going on in here. It, it pushes it sort of into a tropical area. Yeah, I got a lot of different fruits. It, it's 
you know, even after drinking it, I'm still getting things that it's almost like peachy a little bit. It's not juicy, you know, it doesn't have that going on, but it's not too grassy, which I like a lot. <clears throat> yeah, I think I like this more than uh, the Wicked Filthy. Jack Savvy did a collaboration beer that was supposed to be a New England style hazy IPL, but it wasn't very hazy and it seemed very, really grassy and I just wasn't a huge fan of it, but this is really well done. Uh, I think this is going to be like a sort of late spring limited release beer now. Um, I'll definitely, definitely recommend this to people. Um, it's, it just says join the log revolution extra hoppy. They don't give you much info at all. Doesn't make it seem very sexy, but it's really nice. And the lager yeast, I'm only getting a little bit of that, uh, I have a slight sulfury, minerally quality in the finish. Otherwise, it's just potent, resinous, dank American hops with a, a good mixture of mostly sweet, bitter, and sweet citrus. But there's there's some there's some more there's some more fruits going on in there. Some very light melon and berries and stuff. Are we? Uh, it's not really tropical, I guess. Nor juicy, but if you want something that's a, <clears throat> a little bit fruitier and also more crisp and clean than than most West Coast IPAs, this is a good a good option. The bitterness is building up a little bit, and a little heat from the eight percent, but otherwise it's a pretty it's, an, it's another like flawless lager from from Jack's Abbey. I'm, I'm glad that they redid it. And it's it's cool they shipped this out like I could have had this drink this yesterday they they, they somehow got it out to a stores within two days of it maybe even one day maybe maybe some stores got it two days ago but that's that's cool I would probably give this like an eighty two or something I like it a lot I, I highly recommend it if you're a fan of the XS IPL it doesn't have uh, I don't think it has Citra <clears throat> and the more interesting newer way of hops that are in their excess IPL. That's their triple dry hop, 7.2% alcohol um, IPL. That's a little bit more in the New England style, but not not quite a double IPA. And that one is very good, but this one is very nice, and I'm I'm glad that they've got another double IPL out because for a couple of years there it was only. Kiwi Rising available in like November, but it's 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 good and the mouthfeel is you know it kind of tastes it has a mouthfeel of essentially an an old fashioned IPA but a very pale one that's not too sweet pretty dry. It's not too it's not too thin though. A nice peppery finish on the tongue with just a little bit of that lagery. Uh, sweaty minerality li lingering but yeah good job jack <laughs>